popular Cairo radio traffic reporter has been off the air for the last couple of weeks. Chris Sullivan is breaking the silence about his battle with COVID-19, hoping he can save others. Cairo 7's Gary Horker is live right now in Kirkland, where the man known as Sully's doctor sent him. And Gary, this is a very energetic guy. Anyone who's listened to him on the radio knows this. But he wondered if this was going to be the end of him. Absolutely, and that's why he says he's burying his body and soul to kind of give a cautionary tale. Sully had to be rushed to Evergreen Health here in Kirkland three different times because he lost so much weight. He was so weak. He was a mess. He had to get an IV and get his oxygen levels checked. Now, in case you think he's a vaccine denier, he's not. He had plans to get the vaccine, but he also had travel plans to go to Montana, and he hesitated because he worried about the side effects. Welcome to today's choke point. Morning commuters know Cairo Radio's Chris Sullivan as Sully the traffic choke point guru. But when he caught COVID two and a half weeks ago, he wondered if he would survive it. Sully, how you feeling? If I was 20%, I think that's probably where I'd put it. But 20% is a hell of a lot better than the zero I've felt for the last two weeks. Chris had family travel plans and long drives to make to see his son Tommy, a long snapper at Montana State. And Chris decided to wait on the COVID vaccine because he had a terrible reaction to the shingles vaccine and he didn't want to get the shot just before a road trip. So I was like, okay, let's get through those and then see how I do. I, I, didn't, I didn't want to have a bad reaction. Chris had also taken precautions, but within three days after visiting Montana and Idaho, he became seriously ill. COVID basically attacked my entire system, one component at a time. It was almost like it was toying with me. Chris had to rush to the ER at Evergreen Health three times. He was too sick to even eat for 10 days. And it just kept, kept moving methodically and testing and like jabbing and poking my perimeter. And every time I fought, it decided, okay, fine. I'm going somewhere else. And it just systematically, it was relentless. It hit everything. And the once stocky strong guy took this photo to show his listeners how a lot of his body mass was gone in days. But I lost 23 pounds of muscle. I mean, my body just ate itself. I mean, thank God it was there. Now he's sharing his story as a cautionary tale for people hesitant to get the vaccine. I probably should have, if I was able to earlier, just go ahead and get that COVID shot. I'm getting the message from you, Sully, that you really shouldn't let your guard down. Don't let your guard down because this thing can grab you and it can uh, it can only knock, not knock you down, but it can take you. And back live at a place that Sully's glad he was not admitted as an inpatient. He says if you have the chance to get the vaccine, especially if you have travel plans to a state that has fewer restrictions than we have here in Washington state, he advises you to go ahead and take that chance. We're live in Kirkland tonight. I'm Gary Horker, Cowboy 7 News. Important words. Thanks, Gary. If you want